fellow wizards, magical and non-magical folk. I am Tara and this is Tara's Horror Emporium. Hello, Tara here from Tara's Potty Emporium. I'm popping on here today to show you an exclusive item from Spellbook and Broom. Um, I think they're in Belgium. I'm Sorry. very, very excited to show you. And hello to all the new people that have come to watch me today. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you really, really enjoy my videos, hit that subscribe button and don't forget that little notification bell so it'll alert you of all my upcoming videos. Now, on to this mystery item. I have been speaking back and forth with the owners of Spoil Book and Broom. Lovely, lovely, lovely people. They are, um, um, they are from Belgium and this item, I was actually inquiring about another item of theirs and uh, he brought this up to me and I said, oh my God, it is amazing. I have never seen anything like it before. But it came in a box like this and it, uh, I have opened the top because I had to have a little bit of a sneak peek and just make sure it all came in nice and secure. Uh, nothing was broken, so it was very well protected. So thank you very much for that. Now, one other thing I just want to say about Spell Book and Broom, they don't just do what I'm going to show you. They do a lot of other little replicas that you can, uh, they do a lot of other little magical replicas that you can actually pop on their website, have a look, and most of them are all made to order. So this one that I'm going to show you today is made to order, and the great thing about it is it's going to be exclusive to you. So whatever you choose for this item is exclusive to you, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Like no one else in the world will have one of these because no one's ever going to choose the same thing. So now... I will, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous, a bit excited. And I, um, they had some cute little bits and bits uh, popped into the box as well, which I will share with you. Uh, very, very uh, enjoyable box to open. A little bit more about Spellbook and Broom. They have a website, so I'll put that in the description down below so you can check that out. Also, they have an Instagram and they do beautiful, beautiful photos on their Instagram. So check them out too. I, yeah, amazing. They are a very lovely company. I like to support small companies. So I'm, this is what I'm doing, why I'm doing the video for. And I'm very, very excited that it is an exclusive piece that hasn't been out before and that I'm able to share that with you. I was very honored to uh, be chatting back and forth with the owners of Spellbook and Broom and for them to say that they were happy for me to do a video for them of this product so yes feel very honored so thank you very much for that as well now we will get into the box so when i op when you open the box you've got a lot of packaging and i have as i said i have undone the wrappings i just had to make sure everything was okay and let the owners know everything was okay so we have a little letter there and some other little bits and bits as well so first off what i will start with is the letters. We have a really pretty wax stamp there with the SMB, which is Spellbook and Broom. And I have just opened it. I actually haven't read it. I just opened the top with a letter opener. And it is a little, oh, a little letter uh, from the owners of Spellbook and Broom. So I'll read that one out to you. Hi there, my dear fellow wizard, witch, muggle or squib. If you are reading this letter, that means you have received a special owl delivery from us. And we want to thank you for your purchase. We put a lot of love and magic into the items we create. So we hope you will love the item our owl delivered. Very cute. We told our owl to stop by Honeydukes. Oh, this sounds good. And pick up some sweets as a token of gratitude. Oh, thank you very much. That's so lovely. How to display your item. Me, myself, I would love to know, not to mention my rabid followers. So go ahead and share it with us on Instagram. If there would be any problem, don't hesitate to contact us through Facebook, Instagram, email or 
or any other muggle way of communication to make sure our auras can find a solution as soon as possible. Yours sincerely, Spell Book and Broom. And I don't know how they've done that, but they've actually signed it, unless it's a, like they've got really nice handwriting in it, to pen, but that signature at the bottom looks really magical. And the whole letter is, is really well done. So thank you so much for that. And I'll definitely be keeping this wax seal because I actually collect them and then I reuse them for gifts. So thank you, that is very lovely. Okay, so on to the item. There's on their website, they have all their pricing information. In the box, we've just got a lot of packaging, which is great. Keeps everything nicely protected. And oh, I've seen something from Honeydukes. Beanie Bots, every flavoured beans. Oh my God. You know what? Even though there's some nasty ones in here, I absolutely love these. So thank you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you. Okay, so we have a little bit of a warning card. To all wizards and witches, note there is no need for any incantation like Incendio Lumos off for this lamp. No, oh, was that a little bit of a clue in what it might be? Because the material in which this lamp was printed doesn't like high temperatures. Always use LED lamps, the muggles invented. So that's a little bit of a warning. So that's a little bit of a clue on what this might be. Now this isn't your everyday lamp as such. It is called a lithothane photo lamp. Now I haven't, I don't know if you've seen these before and as I said to you previously, earlier in the video, that these are actually made custom to you, custom ordered. Pick some photos uh, to send to Spellbook and Broom to put in my photo lamp. And I chose photos out of my collection. So there was a lot of my favorite Harry Potter film and book is The Prisoner of Azkaban. So I chose a fair few photos from that. And I chose it from books that I've had and posters and stuff like that. So I just took photos of them and sent them through. Now he will let you know if the quality isn't good enough or anything like that. And you actually upload all your photos on their website and then he receives them and then they start making your lamp. Now this lamp is made by 3D Printer. It is very well done. I don't think I've seen anything that is so very fine detail and I reckon that that's amazing. I haven't seen a 3D printer do anything like this before. So yes, very, very excited to show you. Now, I will get to the, cut to the chase. So here it is and it came not put together because I put it together um, when it got here to make sure that everything was okay. But what actually happens is that this was connected at the, you got a little connection at the back. Now I'm in Australia and obviously in the UK and Euro you have uh, different points. So he organized uh, an Australian point for me, which was awesome. So I didn't have to go out and do that. It also has an on off switch on the cord, which I love because sometimes when you're busy around rushing or whatever, and you've got stuff to do, putting the kids to bed and stuff like that, when you go to go to bed and you forget to turn a, you know, a, a switch off, you've got this one here that you can just turn it off and on and you don't have to worry about turning it off at the power point. So now, as you can see, there is little scriptures that are actually in the lamp. Now the scriptures are the pictures that it's actually, the 3D printer's actually etched and ma well, made this whole lamp on a 3D printer. Now how you, now I was a bit confused before I start off with as well. It doesn't take long with me. So when you receive this, it actually comes with a globe as well, a th uh, LED globe. So what happens is one of the panels actually slides down and that comes off and the globe sits in there like that. And that is an LED globe. So if it does for some reason 
stop working, blow, whatever, then you can just replace it with another LED globe. And as it said on the warning, please don't use any incantations to light this as it will melt. So, and also to just, I know you probably do know, but obviously because it is the type of material it is, it can't use just normal globes that you can buy from the supermarket or the shopping centers you need to use an led and that's a good thing that they put the warning on there otherwise a lot of people get a bit confused in what like what globes and stuff so yes the globe was in there it wasn't actually in the socket uh, but it was in there and i it was really easy to set up i just and i'm not good with any of this stuff so i just screwed it in plugged it in, make sure it worked, and then sent a uh, couple of photos and a video back to Spot Book and Broom, letting them know that their product was amazing, and I absolutely loved it. Now, under this light, you can't really see, and that slides really easily in and out. Now, I'm going to dim the lights, plug it in, and let you have a look at what I chose. Okay, I've got the lamp all set up. As you can see, the lighting has changed, but I'm not actually going to be able to hold it up close enough to the camera to show you what I've chosen. But I'm going to take some photos and I'll just let you have a look what how big the lamp is and how it looks like when it's lit up. So it's fairly bright and I actually sometimes just have it on in my kind of lounge area. So just some like mood lighting and it actually lights up the whole room fairly nicely so this is the lamp here and as i said see it's just a it's just because of the led if i put it a bit too close you can see the flashing already so what i'm going to do i'm going to take some photos and i'm going to pop them up right now Okay, so what did you think of the photos I picked? I love them. They're four of my favorite kind of throughout the Harry Potter series. They're my favorite pictures out of my favorite film. So as you could see, you might be able to see it a little bit better here. Now, Hermione's necklace there. Then we have a hippogriff. Then we have a wanted poster of one of my favorite wizards from the Prisoner of Azkaban. And then this one here is Harry and his owl Hedwig in the dormitories. I'm just blown away with the detail that this shows. I, I when I sent the pictures through, I thought maybe some of the pictures I've picked were too detailed. He, the only thing he had a problem with was a couple of them because of the, uh, the quality. So I just had to re-pick or resend other ones through. They're a little bit better quality. But other than that, it was it was amazing. It's blown me away how the image is made and imprinted into this lamp. It is mind blowing. So I really love this because for one, you've chosen the photos. They're yours. No one else has these. And there's four photos you have to choose, obviously. Um, there's nothing on the bottom because that's where it sits. And then there's nothing on the back here because that's where the power cord is. So you have one on the top, two either side, and one at the front here. What I love most about this lamp is that you can create one for somebody else. You can create one for yourself. Great night light for kids because you can put their favorite images from the magical world on there and they can watch it as they're going to sleep and even you as an adult can watch as you're going to sleep but as i said it is fairly bright so if you're happy to sleep with a fair bit of light on then this will be great for you if you just want it to go on your collection in your collection on your shelf as a you know a beautiful centerpiece this is a great thing to get as well now i hadn't actually seen this anywhere else so this is why i was so excited about this awesome exclusive piece so Pricing wise, I think I paid, for me to get anything from anywhere overseas, the shipping is pricey. And I know that already going into buying things overseas. Now, 
Excluding the shipping, I think that this was about 80 or 90 Australian dollars. So you'd have to convert that wherever you're from, but not bad, maybe $100, but not bad for something that's exclusive to you and you have helped create this, which I think so, so special. There's a lot of things that people put out there or a lot of companies put out there that are made, they think this is what we want. And to be able to get something that we've actually had a hand in helping make, I think is absolutely magical. So I want to know what you guys think. Please let me know what you guys think of this beautiful product. And please go and check out Spellbook and Broom. I will put their, all their information down below in the description. So you can go and click on the links and go straight to their Instagram and to their website. They do do other objects except for this Philosopher's Stone holder, I'm pretty sure as well. That's really, really lovely. And they do a glass dome that goes over the stone as well. So they do lots of other magical items. So go and check them out. Um, they are, as I said, they are a very small company. So this is why I love, this is what I love to do. I love to support small businesses. And I tell you what, you will not find a lovelier company. Very nice, down to earth. I could probably send them, you know, I was sending them messages here, there and everywhere, asking them all information about everything that you could possibly think of. And uh, there was no hesitation of saying, oh, you know, you're saying, you're asking too many questions or you're doing too much of this, you're doing too much of that. They just sent back, you know, normal as such, um, human answers. So I really, really would love to thank you, Spellbook and Broom, for your hospitality and for your customer service, because it's impeccable. So I think that's it. This lamp is one of my treasured, treasured possessions because I helped make it. And I hope that you are very happy when you, when you order your lithothane photo lamp from Spellbook and Broom. So, I hope everyone's having a lovely day. In Australia here it, today, it's about 33 degrees. So, nice and warm. We're actually coming to the end of our summer now, so going into winter. But we have still had some beautiful days. And I'm hoping you're having a beautiful day too. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. If you'd like to join our little family of Harry Potter fanatics, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Till next time, take care. Mischief managed.